Hello Internet, my name is TheRadams97 and this is Total War Rome 2. So this is another 1v1 online battle in which we are fighting each as Celtic factions over the, I believe it's the Dormans of Karnag, which is a wonder monument in the game, but also exists in real life I do believe. But anyway, unfortunately I because if there's one thing with Rome 2 is it has fog of war even on replays and I don't know how to disable it. Yep, but fortunately because of my position I can see his entire army I think at the moment so I can do army comps so I'll do that. But first off I just want to say there's one thing this game is going to highlight it's why you don't bring fixed artillery to a fight. So yeah as you can already see, he's deployed off to the side because he saw I'm bringing fixed artillery. So that was used to the entire game, pretty much. So, army comps. As you can see, I've deployed in quite a nice uh, layered formation here. In my front line, I'm bringing four units of Gallic Hunters. I'm playing as the Averni, by the way, which are the standard Gallic faction. Uh, behind them I'm bringing four units of naked warriors. Let's get a nice close up on these spicy people. Yep, they don't care. And behind them I'm bringing four units, if I can sort my camera out. Four units of chosen spearmen. Nice heavily armoured spearmen. Pretty decent unit. Behind them I have my elite swordsman. My chosen swordsman. Like I say, I've also got my Celtic giant ballista there, which ain't gonna do much. Covering each of my flanks, I've brought um, a total of four units of heavy, uh, heavy horse, which are, you know, run of the mill Celtic um, cavalry. And my general is right at the back in a unit of, of Swan. So, very decent swordsman. As for my opponent, who is playing as the Nervii, uh, he is bringing, I believe it is six units total, or no, it isn't, sorry, I'm derping. It's four units of Spear Brothers. No way, it's five units of Spear Brothers, there we go. I'll keep that. <laughs> so, they're uh, heavy Spearmen, but they're, they're okay Spearmen. I don't think they're that great. I might be wrong. Maybe things just happened. And I believe he has two units of fierce swords who are uh, a medium uh, sword unit. They have some clothes and helmets, but yeah. So they're basically going to be it. Uh, I think they're meant to be kind of a shock infantry because they are medium. And um, behind them, he's got two units of Oswan. He has four units total of Mighty Horse, two covering his rear and two on his left flank. One unit of Celtic Heavy Onager, which, not being fixed, are going to do a lot more for him than mine did for me. And finally, his general is also in Oathsworn. The Nervii you can only get if you own Caesar and Gaul DLC, which I don't, but this guy did. But anyway, but underway. Let's get the battle underway. The great breasted Kikolius has warmed so, up So, I'm going to see his deployment, and I'm just going to hate myself. And go to bed because, down to yeah. Night with the gods. These things now, I realise straight peace. away, those things are completely the useless. There's I no chance that he's going to move into a firing angle. Run! And I, I learned a very important lesson. Don't bring fixed artillery to an online battle. It might be cheap, but it's not worth it. So I know I'm now at a disadvantage because I don't have artillery and he does. So I'm going to start moving my force to the side. He's going to try and protect my little hill for the time being and wait because he can because he can just bombard me. So I'm going to 
start marching with his cavalry on the right forward and in a minute they're probably going to start running. I'm probably get them running, I can't even remember now. But somehow I managed to leave them back, but they'll join soon enough. But yeah, I'm just trying to rearrange my formation at the moment. Keeping everything as is, but just re-angling. As, as you can see, he's going to push his cavalry up to the sides. It looks like there was something hidden over here. Be a sword. Maybe he brought more than two units of a sword. So I don't know. They might be hiding. So he's going to push his army up a little bit. But he knows he's got the artillery. He can wait me out. And now his artillery is going to fire. So I'll see that his artillery is firing on my guy, so they're no longer safe, and I'm going to end up pushing forward. But he's also going to push his army up so, uh, to form a line. Using his spear brothers, he's going to make a main line. So he's opting for a single wide formation. As opposed to me using my lead assault. As you can see I'm now moving my cavalry up on the flanks. Taking a bit of fire and there we go. Order my two lines at the front to push up. He's gonna respond by moving his uh, spears by the looks of it. And he does have archers, I don't know if they were mentioned in the army comps, but they were probably hiding. Yeah, there we go. Garlic Hunt, as he's got four units of them. Yeah, really nice with Rome too, how it does that. Uh, the same as mine, but... I, no, mine don't have any upgrades either. Had to check that. So yeah, just going to start the battle off with a skirmish. Shoot some arrows at each other. But he's gonna immediately just decide to push his spears up. Honestly, I think he should have just waited out because he had the artillery. But when I saw him doing that, I charged my cavalry into his. I had no idea who he would win, but he did respond and send his infantry out. try and pull his cavalry out but uh, it's too late. As for here I just didn't have my micro over here so they're just gonna get engaged. And I've charged up my naked warriors into the sides of his spear line. And they're gonna just punch their way through there with my archer support. And I've managed to get these um, cav out. But they've taken some casualties. And now his cavalry over here has actually gone in just into the firing arc of my uh, uh, my heavy ballistas. So we're going to get a, bit of, uh, a couple of hits off. Nothing game changing though. But yeah, now my line now my naked warrior is going to push through and that's going to really disrupt his formation and I'm sending my uh, chosen spears uh, forward as you can see I'm trying to bring these cab out now but Let's go! they're going to end up getting caught and they're going to derp out because half the unit is over still in here and yeah they're just going to get hit by 
about the archers and die. You can see I'm now charging in my spears and they're doing quite a lot of work. Playing the path of the naked warriors, so I'm just running rampant. I still have my chosen swordsman in the I'm gonna try and get these Gallic Hunters to fight on this night I'm gonna push forward my reserves. The sword. He's gonna take his um, cast and get me behind my chosen spearsman. Get some hammer and anvil. But he does not have basically no formation and these guys Fuck get and um, make themselves get boxed up like archers. But now with my cavalry all essentially thrown away and without get any artillery support. Yeah. It's not looking particularly well with these cavalry just running uncontested. Although his artillery I think may have run out of ammo now just stop firing because it doesn't want to risk friendly fire. Withdraw! So uh, the Spear Brothers are all pretty much gone now apart from one unit there, but they're not too well frozen. Probably be breaking soon. So the rest of his army has got his archers and his calf done for the majority of his work now. I'm trying to cover my archers. So I'm going to spawn here, but the calf are going to help me over. These guys are very heavy and I'm just going to give up at that point. So they were pretty much out of time by that point anyway, we might have had a few volleys left. That unit didn't, so I was still fixated on the artillery and charged them towards that. Not realising at this point that they'd stop firing. Which was a terrible mistake because even though they're not that good, they could have flanked in behind and done some damage. Now I'm just going to charge my archers up here. Just try and distract them, but yeah. Not going particularly well for me now. Yep. As you can see, I've grouped up one unit of my chosen source and the other swarm. And they're going to charge him to his general and the unit of his first sword. Which, on its own, should have been in my favour, but he's still got these cav running around. And they're going to get behind and get some hammer and anvil. He's also got some Moro spawn and some spear brothers as well by the looks of it. But yeah, I'm going to try and charge up these hunters up now. But he's going to take a unit of cav to just deal with them. Shield wall! No! Out because I suck at this. Yeah, they've taken on a unit of this cavalry and they are going to be able to kill them. But yeah, that unit there is just constantly uh, cycle charging. My other one alone can't win this fight, so I can't turn these chosen swordsmen to face the cav and protect my rear. Because I'll just get my um, stand killed. to use his unit to make him waste his arrows on it but yeah. and hopefully try and kill some of his cav on the charge but it's just not enough so I still have uh, these guys back here and I, if you keep track of the map they are going to drop there I'm going to decide right 
let's try and use them so very soon I'll be dropping the, I'll have them drop the equipment and try and charge in just to do whatever they can but yeah now these chosen swordsmen are gonna break to get those chosen swordsmen to chase all the calf, but some of the calf are just going to run away. I just spam my general's abilities trying to get something to kill. and killing the general. No idea where about this general is within this unit. That's my only hope that we can go to the front and that my guys can just carve through. And yet, as you can see, artillery crew are now charging up. But too little, too late, the chosen side from the Mars. Take no! Yeah, I'm gonna use Intimidate on his general and use that hunt to inspire my old friend. I'm gonna trash the artillery in turn. Certainly a close fight, which I probably could have won if I'd brought artillery that wasn't fixed in one place. Although, eh, 36 kills. Not bad considering it didn't do anything. But yeah, compared to his 82, you can see where the strength was and his cavalry cycle charging because I threw mine away essentially. Which is annoying, but it's all learning. It's O Swan obviously bringing in lots of kills. But as you can see, what a, like one of my units, the Chosen Spearman, didn't really do well, but the other three did pretty well. My Chosen Swordsman, obviously they did, they got plenty of kills. The Naked Warriors really putting in some effort as well, and even my archers, apart from the unit that broke really quickly, getting a solid amount of kills, but. Yep, let down by my cavern artillery. So that was the game. Thank you for watching. My name is Zor, as always been Veradams97.